Anyone watch The View? The extremely popular daytime talk show with a panel of women, including Whoopi Goldberg, uh, Joy Behar, Sarah Haynes, and Sonny Hostin. Today we're looking at the home of Sonny Hostin, the attorney on the show, The View. I was recently in New York and I really was excited to go by the studios of some of the big news shows such as uh, Stephen Colbert, uh, Trevor Noah, who else, um, Tamron Hall, and of course, The View. So I began to think, these people have to have a, a home somewhere here in the city. Not only might they have a fabulous apartment or a condo in the city near the studio, they might also have an amazing mansion somewhere outside the city. So after some light digging, I found the home that Sonny Hostin had purchased in 2007 for $2.5 million. And according to recent photos on her social media, she still lives in this 10 bedroom, nine bathroom mansion that spans over 12,000 square feet of space. Huge house. Zillow estimates the home to be worth about $3.5 million. That's a million over what she paid for it back in 2007. Not a bad investment. Now is the moment where I ask you for the type of support that doesn't cost you a dime. It's simply the press of a button, the like button. So go ahead and press that thing. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll be right back with the tour of Sonny Hostin's Purchase New York Mansion. That's the name of the city, Purchase. Never heard of it, Purchase New York. I'm Lam, the Real Estate Insider, and this large Tudor estate belongs to The View co-host, Sonny Hostin. Off top, this is, to me, doesn't look like what I expect for New York. Perhaps I don't know enough about New York real estate because I'm a Texan, but this looks like it should be in Connecticut. New Hampshire, maybe. Anyone else see that, or is it just me? Anyway. Heading inside, I really love the windows. Creates a nice contemporary look and feel. This kitchen certainly fits. Kind of puts me in the mind of Patty LaBelle's kitchen, actually. The link is above. Check her kitchen out on her tour. I'm not sure if this is a living room or a library. Either way, I don't love it. But this space here, yeah, this one, this is the one. I love it. I love this one. This will be my area, my man cave or whatever. Those walls are like old school. I'm not sure if that's mahogany or what, but I feel like I need a cigar and a, a cigar and a glass of bourbon when I'm in that room. All right, the master could use some work, very plain. The master bath has great potential, however, and, and I could work with it, but this right here is what the ladies are gonna love. You ladies are gonna love this closet. What do you think? Okay, there's a lot more to see. I want you to go ahead and check it out, and I'll be right back with my insider rating.
Okay, I'm back. What did you guys think of Sonny's Mansion and Purchase New York? Which room did you like the best? Now it's time for me to provide my insider rating. This is where I rate the home on a scale from one to 10, one being awful, the pits, crap, and 10 being amazing. And I give Sonny's home a 5.5. It's a big house with a lot of potential, but it's a miss for me overall. That's what I think. But I wanna hear from you. What do you rate this mansion on a scale from one to 10? Who you rating in the comments below and I might, I might shout you out in a future video. And I want to shout out Lisa Gibson for her six rating of Prophet is Juanita Bonham's house. I think that's all. Check out my other channel, Top Celebrity Pads, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm Lamb, the Real Estate Insider. Peace out. Baby, I see you hanging with your friends, chilling. Day and night for days on